Hello Libra, welcome to Pharmacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today I'll be taking a look at how you and your person are feeling to book a private reading with me. All of that info is below along with all of the price listings and private readings with me are an hour long via FaceTime, Google Duo or a regular phone conversation. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content onto YouTube is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And as always, Libra, I want to remind you, not every Libra watching this will identify with this message, and I'm totally fine with that. It's important for you to know that I am aware that not every Libra watching this will identify with this message. These are general messages. They are not personal readings. All right, let's get right into what's going on with you and your person. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Libra and the person that they are dealing with. Please speak to me in reference to Libra. Ooh, okay. Please speak to me in reference to Libra. Please speak to me in reference to Libra. Wow, your cards are just popping out right away. All right, so the energies that I have in front of me are Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, and Libra, okay? So with the Eight of Swords energy, okay, I feel like your person is stuck. I feel like they are also not really looking at what the real problem is, or they could be avoiding what the real issue is. I feel that you know, Libra, that your person is unsatisfied in a certain area in their life, and they don't want to admit that. Public perception is very important to your person, so the way that people perceive them or the way that they are being viewed I feel like they often are very troubled emotionally. They overthink with the Eight of Swords here. They feel tied down. They feel like they are unable to walk away from something or to walk toward you. There's pain here. There's loss. I feel like they're losing themselves. I feel like you're watching them be someone who they are not. Because you know what they really want and you know what they truly desire. And lately, they aren't displaying their authenticity. But we're going to take a further look at the other cards that we have here, okay? So the Five of Swords, this is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. And I feel like someone here doesn't want to trust, doesn't want to give another chance, doesn't want to believe someone here is assuming because of what has happened in the past that someone else will never change. Perhaps you are right about that, Libra, because we have the Five of Swords coming up here. So if you believe that someone cannot change, this card speaks to someone who continues to hold swords even though there's swords on the ground because of people who have walked away from them already. They still are looking for others to take these two swords, right? Or even that one that's right there. So I feel like you're dealing with a stubborn energy, Libra. You're dealing with someone who you know is up to no good. 
you are not blind. They appear to be blind about something. They appear to not be genuine at the moment or sincere with their feelings. But I feel that you all, you all, you see how I, I was going to say that? You all. So more than one person involved here, obviously, because I wasn't even going to say all, and I said all. <laughs> We're going to clarify that, though. The temperance energy presenting itself here, Sagittarius. I feel like although you see right through this person, to you, they are very transparent. They try to be opaque, right? They can't be opaque at all. Like you see right through them. They can't stand that, by the way. I just feel their energy and they're like, no, no, she doesn't. No, he doesn't. They don't know me, you know. You have always spoke the truth to this person when it comes to how they need to improve their life or certain actions that they need to take. And they have always found that as you trying to bring them down or step on their character. They've never viewed it as you trying to help steer the person that you love. The strength card coming out here, this is Leo energy. Okay, so I feel like you are resilient. You are brave. You are courageous because at this time, you feel like you need to go it alone or that you need to separate or be away from an energy that doesn't want to understand how they continue to make the wrong choices, basically. And it's like they thought they did the right thing, but they didn't. And it's like you're watching this movie and you're watching them with the wrong choice that they made or the choices that they made and to you, it continues to be perplexing because they continue to fake a way of living. That's what I'm getting, Libra. Okay? We have the Nine of Cups energy. Regardless of whatever it is that's happening with you and this person who you're conflicted with, I definitely feel that you are in a better place, happier place when it comes to um, being optimistic about who you're going to be dating in the future. This person has taught you a lot of lessons. I feel that you are opening up to someone new. And someone new is going to give you your nine of cups, what you've been wishing for. If you haven't been doing that, I see you being optimistic in the future about dating a different style of person. I feel like you've gone for the same type for a while, you know. I think that you're about to switch it up, honestly. But we'll see. So let's clarify. Spirit, please speak to me about this Five of Swords energy. Please speak to me about this Five of Swords energy when it comes to Libra and the person that they are dealing with. Please speak to me about the Five of Swords. Yes. So the Justice card, it's like even though there are all of these people involved, right? Because, you know, there's two other people there and here's your person, you know, they still want you. 
you are never easily impressed, Libra. So if they think that they're just going to garner you back, good luck. <laughs> right? <laughs> good luck to them. Before that happens, they need to meet the judge, right? <laughs> with the scales here. But they definitely want peace with you. Now, let's clarify the temperance energy, which is Sagittarius. Please speak to me in reference to Sagittarius. Yes. So, I know that you're turned off by them in some way, but you definitely wish that things could have been different because I feel like there's an exchange of words happening here. The only problem is, is that I'm not sure if it's the nicest exchange of words. You know what I mean? <laughs> But there's communication between you and this person here. Now, let's clarify what this communication is about with the Knight of Swords energy coming out on the Temperance. Please speak to me in reference to the Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, it's like you're offering the Page of Cups. So, you know, talk to me nice. You're playing nice. <laughs> One of you is playing nice, you know, but I definitely see you playing nice. This is your energy offering the Page of Cups. It ain't nothing big now. So, you know, it ain't for your person to get all excited, but, you know, you're willing to talk, which is good. And you're willing to be nice, right? <laughs> Now, with the strength card energy, let's clarify the strength card, please. Please speak to me in reference to the strength card when it comes to Libra and their person. Clarify the strength card, please. Hmm. Five of Cups energy. Sadness. Loss, inconvenience, uncomfortable. I feel like this is your person's energy. I feel like someone let you down, but I feel like they are so sad by losing you. Like, that's what I get here. So... Let's clarify this Five of Cups energy. Why is this person so sad here? Because, you know, I feel like you weren't going to take their shit. And they knew that. There were certain things that you were bringing up to them that needed to be addressed. And if they didn't address them, then you were just cutting the whole thing off. You hold people accountable, Libra. That's what you do. That's your personality. It ain't easy to deal with, but you know what? That's why you're so successful. A lot of you guys are headed towards success. A lot of you guys have two and three jobs, four jobs, managers, entrepreneurs, famous. You know what I'm saying? Like you have high standards. And for some people, you know, that makes them uncomfortable. You're not just going to let anything slide. You know what I'm saying? You're not a water sign. Now, let's clarify this nine of cups energy for you and your person. Okay, see, I told you, two of cups. I told you that I feel like you're opening up to something new with the Nine of Cups energy. Two of Cups. You see? Let's see what this Two of Cups is all about. Talk to me about the Two of Cups. Please speak to me about the Two of Cups here for Libra and their person. 
Yeah. Yep. So this is what I get. This is your energy, Libra. You are leaving. You are headed in another direction. You're going towards something else. I feel like your person will be in regret forever about ruining this. Okay. However, I see you moving on because this is a card of leaving travel to get your two of cups. You actually find it and then you are happily ever after nine of cups energy wish fulfillment. Okay. That's the energy that I get. It's beautiful. So let me pull some advice before we wrap this up. Spirit, please give me advice for Libra. Please provide me with advice for Libra. Please provide me with some advice for Libra. Please provide me with advice for Libra. Okay. You have the Ace of Gabriel. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. Yeah, that's what I get for you. Okay, so I feel like there's more opportunity coming into your life. And you're eventually just going to leave something here in the past. And hopefully it'll be someone's lesson. And I think that it is. I think that someone is really learning how to be a better person through their experience with you. Okay, so I feel like you did bring justice into their life, even if, you know, there was no actual coming back together for some of you. I just feel like you taught this person how to be a more mature individual. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link is below. Take care.